What's up guys and girls, this is James at Lock in the Value and CopyMyCrypto.com talking to you today about the wonderful world of crypto. Um, so, Elon had his uh, appearance on Saturday Night Live last night um, and since then Doge has tanked. I'm going to get into what that means for the market um, and which projects could benefit from money leaving Doge. Um, before I do, as always, this is uh, the first 26 coins I spoke about on YouTube. Uh, these are all the ones I thought would absolutely kill it in the um, in the bull run. So far, obviously, Phantom has run wild um, and is currently up <laughs> like 170x. That's in yellow because I thought it would be the best investment of the year. I did Unimi course saying that? Um, thrilled to see that uh, I'm right. <laughs> Um, I'm only in a few of these. The rest have been compiled. Uh, have, I sold out of them and put into projects that will do better during this bull cycle. Um, and that's literally what I share on Copy My Crypto. For anyone new to crypto, I show you exactly what I'm in, why I'm in it. Um, and you can see why those projects are in my portfolio. Makes it easy for you in terms of an investment, makes it easy for you in terms of. Uh, copying and, and matching trades and matching profit um, and if you're new to crypto this would simplify everything for you so check out the link in the description um, right guys firstly Elon had his appearance on Saturday Night Live didn't think it was great I, uh, I like the OJ joke that, that cracked me up uh, beyond that um, was was I wasn't too fussed. I didn't think it was particularly funny, but um, it was good for Dogecoin in terms of uh, it was good for crypto in general. More people seeing someone talking about Dogecoin. As I said yesterday, I expected it would be somewhat anticlimactic, and it was sort of a sell the news sort of event where the price was going to drop, as it has. Um, beneficiaries of that seem to be Cardano. And Ethereum uh, chain link as well, um, and Litecoin. Um, those ones in particular on oh, Binance. Now, um, something to consider, like everyone to consider, like Doge has always sort of done well in a bull cycle. It's not um, going to disappear necessarily but it wasn't a good investment or it isn't a good investment in the long term um, what's worth considering though is the platforms that doge can be bought on and the other cryptos that can be bought on that platform because a lot of people will their main profit on doge will bank it people that have um are leaving Doge but want to stay in crypto will go into another crypto that's accessible. Now, as an example, Doge is traded on things like Robinhood. Um, so worth bearing that in mind and having a look and seeing what cryptos are available. In fact, one second. Okay, so um, I've opened up Robinhood. Um, not I'm like I don't use Robinhood, so I've had to do this. So Ethereum Classic, Ethereum, Bitcoin uh, SV, Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin, Dogecoin, Litecoin. Now, what I would think from a platform like Robinhood, we could see spikes potentially in some of the coins like Bitcoin SV, Bitcoin Cash, um, and Ethereum Classic potentially could have more spikes. Now Ethereum Classic to me is overpriced, but that's neither here nor there. Um, but anyone that's leaving Dogecoin, a hell of a lot of people ended up investing in Dogecoin via Robinhood. So yes, people will bank, some people will bank profit, other people will stay in Doge for whatever reason, and other people will leave Doge and go into other cryptos, and they will do it via the platform they bought on. And if people bought Doge on Robinhood, potentially these other six coins could pick up some momentum. And it's worth thinking about in terms of um, 
in terms of the sort of side investment. If you were in Doge, I hope you made a profit and got out. Um, I don't think it's going anywhere, Doge, but I don't uh, necessarily think the run, the, the marvelous run it's on and has been on will will continue too dramatically from this point. It depends on TikTok momentum and everything else. But um, in this coming week, we're certainly seeing over the weekend um, Ethereum, you know, doing rather well. Uh, Cardano doing rather well. Um, Chainlink as well. Um, all doing really well. Those three look like they're primed and ready to sort of blast off a bit more. Uh, Ethereum, I'm, I mean, I wonder how much more it can blast off. A $4,000 resistance level sort of seems like where it's going to be at shortly. And it will bounce back from that point. And pull back um, maybe not though it's, it seems to be on a rocket ship at the moment <laughs> um, as is polygon to be fair um, certainly today anyway uh, but it has to be considered as well as ethereum runs and as chainlink runs um, chainlink in particular what DeFi projects are going to start popping uh, off because Chainlink usually leads the DeFi movement um, so I would expect that we're going to see real uh, big gains in terms of stuff like Compound so stuff like uh, Maker uh, to, and, and to be fair <coughs> excuse me possibly Synthetics although Synthetics has always sort of, it's, it's sort of stagnated for a very long time uh, Phantom Phantom may very well have a nice run as well. Um, it's worth looking at if you have access uh, to to seeing which coins are correlated in terms of movement. There's a lot of sort of ways you can do that online. But if even if you just look up a, any coin on um, Coin Market Cap or Coin Gecko, you should be able to see correlations, and you can see which coins move in relation to. Um, other coins in the top 100 and it gives you an idea of potentially what you're holding and how it's going to move uh, but with doge's sort of flatline i re you know over which is not unexpected um this could be a very very good week for all other altcoins excluding doge um so if you're holding alts uh other than doge you should be very excited because this should should touch wood be a very very good week for us all uh otherwise as always guys uh check out copy my crypto like i said if you're brand new to crypto this is an ideal way for you to get started and simplify the process of investing for yourself um and like i said really really simple videos go up quite regularly and you get the opportunity to hear why i'm in a coin why i'm not in a coin how I'm feeling about the market at the time. Uh, that's it from me. Take care. I hope you're all enjoying your weekend. Bye-bye.